Steam now supports game recording. This brings the ability to capture clips or full gameplay sessions to the hands of many gamers and possibly replaces Nvidia Shadowplay or AMD Relive for gamers who just want a basic clipping tool. But it's got some issues. To access this, open Steam settings, go to Interface. Switch to the beta channel here and restart and update Steam. Now in settings, you have a game recording section. Here you can either set up background recording, where it's constantly capturing your gameplay that you can extract clips from, or manual recording. Background recording defaults to two hours before it starts overriding old gameplay with new, but you can extend this as much as you want. Holy cow, that is awesome. And then it gives you, oh, this UI is amazing. So it gives you, you got bit rates you can choose from. You don't get codec selection or any of that yet. I realize that will be complicated for the normal user, but you get bitrate selection. I don't like that 24 is the highest. I don't like that we don't see codecs, but again, for like normal people or whatever, whatever. But I love that you get to choose how long it's gonna record in the background for at a given time before it just dumps it, what bitrate you're at, and then it tells you how much space that will take up. And then you can choose where it goes. So for example, I have a drive that I capture to, a big old DAS drive, RAID, so I'm just gonna make a Steam folder in my captures folder. I cannot possibly imagine why we would need to restart Steam to change a target directory, but apparently you need to do that. <laughs> that was a weird requirement, I'm not gonna lie. Game recording, but now we have that set up. Now, GPU hardware encoding enabled. We have that toggle. Again, I'm assuming this is H.264 only at the moment. I would love to see at some point in advanced codec selection. Unfortunately, I cannot seem to get GPU encoding to work. Beta gonna beta. Every clip I've gotten thus far just comes out encoded with X264. The 24 megabits per second, it's recording to 1080p, which makes sense for that bitrate, but so it doesn't change based on the resolution that you choose. It is reporting as variable frame rate, Kind of like shadow play which is disappointing but shouldn't really affect anything wow and it gives you all the commands that they use for the encoding settings so it's x264 that it's using why is it x264 we turned on hardware encoding that's odd we've got aac audio not at high bit rate but that's fine it's strange that it's reporting X264 when it had an option for GPU encoding and we have it on. Huh. But we're looking at, you know, basic 1080p60 game clips. But for most people, like, that's great. That's fine. The quality is okay, but obviously this is just going to be for those who want the basics, as bitrate control is limited and there's no codec selection. But this is still neat. Record your microphone and choose whether it's the game only or all system audio, or even game and selected programs, which is really cool. Even more neat is the ability to manually add markers to your recording buffer's timeline view to make it easier to cut out clips after the fact. Counter-Strike 2 has even already implemented the API for markers and will make markers based on kills and such automatically, or you can still trigger your own with a hotkey. This is especially nice since CS players have to deal with anti-cheat blocking OBS from capturing it. Let's not, whoa, look at this interface. Look, oh, look at this. We got a whole like timeline. Okay, we got some playtime notes and whatever, that's fine. So we can click and add markers after the fact. What? So you can just, it's still scrolling, the like it's still capturing my game. And I can just go back and add a marker in the preview. That is insane. We can manually clip from here. You'll see saved clips with a yellow bar on the timeline. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's like Twitch's Clipper. What? Yeah, drag the yellow handles to change the... Uh, yep. We can zoom in on the timeline. Yep. We can set start and end points, just like lossless cut. Play from clip start. Save and share. We can save in Steam, which is great. I recommend doing that if you want to gain some following on Steam. You can send it to your phone, you can copy a link to it, or you can export video file. And this is MP4, we will inspect this file in a moment, and I will just save it to my videos folder. First, 
Steam Clip. Save. Done. Okay. This is crazy. However, despite my original confusion, it's worth noting that these markers are not for the final video file, like we saw with the recent OBS update. They will not show up in your video editor, but rather they're just for the timeline view for clipping later. Bummer. However, there is a big glaring UX issue with this whole system right now. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We can add timeline markers, but is it just, is it just gonna record the full two hours? You also have the option to, so we're missing a couple things. One is to save a clip at all, which is bizarre. That might present itself once we're in a game, so we can launch that and test that in a moment. And we're missing the ability to split. If, if, if they're going to do something as advanced and niche, though incredibly help you, helpful, mind you, but as arguably as, as advanced and niche as timeline markers in your video file, I feel like the option to separate your microphone to a separate audio track, Shadowplay has it, everything, you know, whatever, should be there as well as device selection for this. So obviously you're gonna, you're gonna have to go into your sound settings and make sure your default devices are set correctly. But I would still love for peace of mind to be able to choose a device here. But this is a really great start. Uh, in a moment, we will test and see if we're presented with the hotkey options to save clips in the game. Cause like, it, it's super bizarre to give us shortcut keys and then not have recording keys. So UX wise, that's a fail. Like we got so much good stuff here and then that is a massive fail. Um, I can look. Yeah, there's seemingly no other section for that. So we, we, we'll try with shift tab and see if we have options there. I also gave this a try on Steam Deck. Multiple people in my Discord said they had a good time using it on their Steam Deck, and I was looking forward to it since I'm not a fan of the quality put out by the Decky plugin recorder. However, beta gonna beta, and every clip I've tried capturing with the buffer or manually just comes out to either only showing the launching game screen, even if the sound is there, or just a black screen. Not sure what's going on, but I really hope it gets fixed soon. And of course, navigating and controlling the buffer timeline to make clips is a nightmare on the controller interface anyway. Actually, for some strange reason, all of my manual recordings are unavailable black screens. I have no idea what's going on there. Your background recordings are not stored in a traditional media container, but instead in a bunch of tiny chunks in a container that I can't seem to get anything to play. It would have been nice to be able to just grab these manually. Recordings can be shared through the community tools on Steam, links sent to other people, manually downloaded to edit or upload as you wish, or sent to another Steam running computer to be downloaded. I also had an issue here where downloading the clips to my Mac from my PC would air out every time. However, I was able to download a clip on my phone. Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Ultimately, this is a really neat update that further spreads the capability to record gameplay clips and share them. One that Valve did not need to do. It doesn't directly earn them any money, but it just continues to provide more value to the player. I hope they keep working on this and expand the live stream capabilities too. The VOD of the whole stream where I was first initially taking a look at this is linked below. Remember to be kind, rewind.